Jingle Bells Backwards, sung by the New Jersey Cape Mayettes. <laughs> Seattle, go ahead. Hello, this is Jonah. No last names, Jonah. You, you sound younger than our usual callers. How old are you? I'm eight. Eight? How come you're up so late? It's not that late in Seattle. Oh, of course. You're absolutely right. All right, what's your Christmas wish, Jonah? It's not for me. It's for my dad. I think he needs a new wife. Oh, you don't like the one he has now? He doesn't have one now. That's the problem. Where's your mom? She died. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry to hear that. Well, who can believe this? I've been pretty sad, but I think my dad's worse. Have you talked to your dad about this? No. Why not? It's like it makes him sadder. Oh, I can understand that. Joan, is your dad home right now? Yeah. What's he doing? Is he busy? Not really. He's out on the deck. Well, I'm sure that I can help, but I'm going to need you to help me <gasps> help him. So what Wretched I want you to do woman. is bring your dad Hang up, Jonah. Don't listen to her. No way. He'd kill me. Trust me, Jonah. He won't be angry when he realizes how concerned you are about him. Oh, run a bet. Okay, but if I get yelled at, I'm never going to listen to your show again. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. Dad? Yeah? There's someone on the phone for you. His name's Sam. Sam. If you've just tuned in, this is Dr. Marsha Fieldstone. And tonight's topic is your wishes and dreams. Yeah, I got it. And we're on the line now with someone from Seattle. Hello. Hello, Sam. This is Dr. Marsha Fieldstone on Network America. OK, what are you selling tonight? Is it the uh, micro hibachis or the Ginza knives? No, I'm not selling anything. I just want to help. I want you to know that your son called and he asked me for some advice on how you might find a new wife. Who is this? Dr. Marsha Fieldstone of Network America, and you are on the air. You called a radio station? Sam. Sam. Sam, are you with me? Yeah. Yes. Your son feels that since your wife's death, you've been very, very unhappy, and he's genuinely worried about you. Oh, hey, get out here. Get out here. Come on, now, I'm not going to go through this alone. I think it's very hard for him to talk to you about all this. And I thought maybe you and I could talk. It would make Jonah feel a little better. Sam? Talk to her, Dad. She's a doctor. Of what? Her first name could be doctor. Please. Sam. Sam. It's his Christmas wish. OK. OK, good. Now, I know this is difficult. But how long ago did your wife die? About a year and a half ago. Oh. Have you had any relationships since? No. No? Why not? Uh, Marsha, <clears throat> or should I call you Dr. Fieldstone? Dr. Marsha. Dr. Dr. Marsha. Dr. I don't mean to be rude. Oh, and I don't want to invade your privacy. Oh, sure, sure you, you do. do. Go on, Sam. I'm listening. Sam? <clears throat> We had a pretty tough time there at first. Mm -hmm. But we're dealing with it. And uh, Jonah and I will get along just fine again as soon as I break his radio. <laughs> I have no doubt that you're a wonderful father. You know, you can tell a lot from a person's voice. You certainly can. But something must be missing if Jonah still feels that you're under a cloud. And just a few questions. Are you sleeping at night? He doesn't sleep at all. How do you know that? I live here, Dad. Look, it's Christmas. Uh, Maggie, uh, my wife, she really did it. Uh, I mean, she loved it. Uh, she made everything beautiful. And it's it's just tough this this time of year. I mean, any kid needs a mother. Could it be that you need someone just as much as Jonah does? Yes. Don't answer that. Let's get into that right after these messages. Sam, Jonah, don't go away. If you've just tuned in, we're talking to Sleepless in Seattle. And we'll be right back after this break with your listener response. <sighs> 
What is she talking about? This is when other people get to call in and dump on what you said. Oh. Oh. Well, this is really fun. And helpful. I bet he's tall with a cute butt. Bet he hasn't bathed in weeks and he stinks. Harriet, shut up. Hi, can I help you? Tea with the bag out. You know, maybe I'll just hustle myself out to Seattle, give him a little gift for New Year's Eve. Yeah, you go on out there if you want to, but don't open his refrigerator. They don't cover anything when they put it in the fridge. They just stick it in there and leave it till it walks out by itself. What I'm saying is I wouldn't kick this guy out of my bed for eating crackers. You know what I'm saying? 65 cents. Let's take a call before we get back to sleepless. Ooh, 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 ooh. Knoxville, Tennessee, you're on the air. Talk to me. Yes, I would just like to know where I could get this man's address. Hmm. We're trying to get in line. On the air. Hmm. Next caller, go ahead, Oakland. If there was one question I was allowed to ask. Oh, go ahead. People who truly loved once are far more likely to love again. Sam, do you think that there's someone out there you could love as much as your wife? Well, Dr. Marshall Fieldstone, I think. That's hard to imagine. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Well, I'm, I'm going to get out of bed every morning. Breathe in and out all, all day long. And then after a while, I won't have to remind myself to get out of bed in, in the morning and breathe in and out. And, and then after a while, I, I won't have to think about how I had it great and perfect for a while. Sam, tell me what was so special about your wife. Well, how long is your program? Oh, well, it was a, oh, it was a million tiny little things. That when you added them all up, it, it just meant that we were supposed to be together. And I knew it. And I knew it the very first time I touched her. It was like coming home, only to know home I, I, I'd ever known. I was just taking her hand to help her out of a car. And I knew it. It was like... Magic. Magic. Well, folks, it's time to wrap it up. I'm Dr. Marsha Fieldstone in Chicago. And to all my listeners, a magical and merry Christmas. And to you, sleepless in Seattle, we hope you'll call again soon and let us know how it's going. Oh, you count on it. I know some.